Hi, I'm Angela Clark from The Key Inside, and I'm sharing a grounding meditation with you today. And this is something that um, I think it's important for everyone to do every morning after we wake up and ground ourselves to Mother Earth. So it's great if you can do it right on the directly on Mother Earth, if you can step outside and do it putting your bare feet on Mother Earth, but you can do it in the shower, you can do it uh, laying in bed still in the morning first thing, uh, you can do it anywhere, anytime, so there are no limitations. And throughout the exercise, there will be lots of choices that uh, I present to you, and along with that, I fully expect that you will take it and customize it and make it your own. So if there's some aspect of it that just doesn't feel right to you or you have a really spectacular, great idea to make it even better um, for you and your needs, then go ahead by all means and do that. That Making it your own it makes it more accessible to you and you're more apt to use it on a regular basis. So I always encourage people to make it uh, their own and this is just a template, nothing more. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and get started with the grounding cord exercise. And first of all, we just talk about a beam of light coming down from the sky. And it can be from God, it can be from source, it can be from the sun. Whichever of those elements or beings work for you, that's what you get to create. So, so we're going to have this beam of light coming down from the, from the sky, from the heavens. And it is going to be anywhere from 3 inches to 8 inches in diameter. You get to choose how um, thick of a cord you would like this to be. And then the next choice that you have is a color. It gets to be any color that resonates with you today. And then after that choice, you get to choose an energy or an emotion that you'd like to be attached to that. So, for instance, if you've chosen a blue cord, then peace might be the emotion that comes with that. You'd like to have peace in the core of your being today. But there might be other days that you need uh, courage. So you might create a red cord or orange and a vitality, you know, a cord of vitality. So you get to, you can play around with this in coming uh, days and weeks and just experience what it's like when you ground with different energies and different colors because each energy and each color holds its own vibration. So with that, now hopefully you have a cord that is a particular number of inches in diameter, it has a particular color, and it has a particular emotion or energy attached to it, and we're ready to have that cord come down from the sky and very gently approach the crown of our body, the crown of our head, our chakra, crown chakra. And as it travels down through the core of our body, we're just going to feel it gently balancing all of our systems, all of our chakras. We're going to feel it gently go down through the core of our being. So it's going to pass our third eye, our throat chakra, our heart chakra, our solar plexus, our sacral chakra, and it's going to approach our root chakra. And as it approaches the root chakra, you can have just that one single cord go out through the root. Or if a tripod of cords feels better, then you can have it branch off so that a piece of each of that um, cord goes out down through your legs and comes and exits your body through the base of your feet. Whatever is most attractive to you, one cord or three cords, all, both of them work. So now that you've chosen that and that cord of light is just exiting your body, it's going to go down through, if you're in a building, it's going to go down through the foundation of the building, the floor and the basements and anything else down there. And then it's going to go into Mother Earth. And we're going to just imagine it, this cord of light going through all of these many layers that we know are in Mother Earth. And as it gets to the center of Mother Earth, it is seeking out the roots of the Tree of Life. And as it finds the roots of the Tree of Life, we're going to intend that that cord anchor in somehow to the roots of the Tree of Life. So you can visualize it weaving in with the roots, intertwining with the roots, becoming a beautiful knot of some sort, maybe a Celtic knot or some other knot that has meaning to you, 
or it could be a literal anchor. If a real like boat anchor is what feels good, it can be a boat anchor that that beam of light turns into. And then as you feel that anchoredness, feel that securedness, we're going to take in a deep breath and on that inhale, feel that nourishing, rich Mother Earth energy coming up, that beam of light, that cord of energy. And as it comes up, it's mixing with the source energy that's already there and present. So now you've got the masculine and the feminine in your cord of light, and they you are strong. You are strengthened by having the masculine and the feminine and the balance and that rich nourishment that each of them provides. So sitting with that for just a moment, feeling the strength and the power and the groundedness. And then if you would like to, you can create two and three and four more chords, five chords, as many chords as it takes for you to feel fully grounded and tethered to Mother Earth and to Source. And from there, you can create different colors and different energies. So you can have a layering effect of different, you know, a rainbow effect, actually. Um, and that's a lot of fun to play around with that. So maybe you have peace and love and courage. Maybe you have um, courage and resilience and um, clarity, uh, vitality. There's just a million choices. So just really have fun playing with that and seeing what that feels like. Each chord is going to gradually get a, a few inches bigger than the previous chord. So it will come down over the top of the previous one. And so just each with each layer, you're going to feel more and more connected to Mother Earth and to Source. And you just do that continually until you feel really grounded and secure. And then when you're done doing that, if you want to visualize a bubble of energy around you, and this bubble is going out, you know, about extends beyond your fingertips a little bit. If you were to stretch your arms out from side to side and stretch them up high above your above your head. And then watching that bubble of energy go just beyond that. And that's a bubble that's just creating a safety net of sorts. Something to just help you feel a little bit more protected when you go out and about uh, in the earth, in the world. Not the earth, the world. So I hope you found this helpful. And there will be more meditations that I post on a regular basis. And check in again or sign up to be on our email list at thekeyinside.com. Thank you again. Namaste.